Well, it's March 2nd, time for another Support Saturday. What's up everybody, I'm Tylock and this is Homespun Geek. going everybody uh it is support saturday i'm gonna shout out two channels in this video i'm gonna put a link to two videos in the description below for you guys to go over and comment hashtag homespun road to 700 uh so that you guys are eligible for my 700 subscriber giveaway uh before i do that i'm gonna remind you guys what's going to be in that giveaway right now instead of at the end of the video so as 700 subscribers, guys, I am going to be giving away the Glow in the Dark Spirit Spider, which is a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, that will be the pop that I'm giving away. As always, though, guys, I do give away multiple things at the uh, milestones, uh, like 600, 700, and so forth. Uh, so I will also be giving away this Black Panther Pine Size Heroes 3-pack. But before that, guys, when I hit 650, I wanted to remind everybody I will be giving away this glow-in-the-dark Captain Marvel exclusive from Walmart. Uh, and if you stay tuned to the end of this video, guys, I'll be showing you the third item that will be in the 700 subscriber giveaway. Uh, don't forget, guys, once again, go to the videos that I link in the description below and comment hashtag homespun road to 700. All right, guys? Uh, so... I like to kick Support Saturday off every week by doing something Funko or something collectible. So this week, guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I was reading an article last night online about Marvel Comics. Uh, and by comics, I mean the comics. I don't mean Cinematic Universe, the movies, television shows, the Marvel Legends toys, or any of the other toys that they have. Uh, I specifically mean the comics. Uh, I have been an avid comic book fan and reader since I was about eight years old. Uh, I used to read a bunch of my dad's old comic books. He had a lot of Archie comics, Batman comics, Fantastic Four. Those were the things that he really liked. When I was in junior high, I read my very first X-Men comic and I became completely hooked on the X-Men. Uh, it is something that I just truly, truly enjoyed. I started reading just every X-Men book that I could get my hands on. Uh, so last night I was reading an article that Disney uh, may possibly be thinking about shutting down Marvel Comics. Uh, I don't know how true this is. It may be a rumor, uh, but there were some facts in there, in that article, uh, that kind of irritated me a little bit. And one of the facts was that the comic book companies, 10% um, of comic book stores have closed over the last two years, and Marvel Comics themselves were just bleeding money. Uh, they weren't making any money at all, which I think is a crying shame. If you guys like Marvel movies, if you like Marvel television shows, if you even like the Marvel toys, you should be reading the Marvel comics. And maybe I'm preaching to the wrong people here because I know we're all a bunch of nerds and geeks, so comic books may be something that we all read and enjoy. But it is so shameful that Marvel comics is in trouble and at risk of being shut down. It even said they may license out those characters to other companies for other comic companies to write books for, uh, which I don't think I like that idea at all because it's just similar to how Sony licensed out Spider-Man uh, and Fox took a license for the X-Men and Fantastic Four and only recently has Disney been able to get those properties back. Uh, under the Marvel umbrella and so only recently was Spider-Man able to join the Marvel Universe uh, because Sony wouldn't let them have him back so uh, because he was making too much money for them but it's crazy to me to think that the movies are doing so well and the comic books are not doing well at all uh, so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna show you something this is X-Men the Age of Apocalypse this is the prelude to the Age of Apocalypse in this story right here, uh, Legion, if you guys have ever watched the television show Legion, spoiler alert, Legion is the son of Charles Xavier, the leader of the X-Men. Uh, Legion goes back in time in this book to try to kill Magneto to make things easier on his father in the future, uh, and then accidentally ends up killing Xavier instead and leaving Magneto alive, uh, which completely changes the timeline. Magneto ends up leading the X-Men instead of Xavier, and Apocalypse ends up uh, not having to fight against Xavier and the organized X-Men that Xavier 
had and ends up basically taking over the world. Uh, it is a great story. It is a great alternate timeline story. It is something that I have absolutely loved. I would love to see Pops from Age of Apocalypse. Uh, specifically, some of the X-Men like uh, Cyclops only has one eye. Wolverine only has one hand. Uh, a lot of differences there. Uh, Sabretooth is actually a good guy. Mystique is actually kind of kind of a good guy or a good girl, I guess. Uh, she lives in Antarctica and is trying to help mutants escape Apocalypse's reign and come to a peaceful area. Uh, lots of really good stuff in this book, guys. I'm going to ask you guys, if you haven't ever read this, you should go out and try to find it. Uh, this one specifically, uh, I think I got this on Amazon for like maybe $20.00. It's the cost of two pops, but this is uh, six months worth of books right here. Uh, so, X-Men, guys. It's a shame that Marvel is going under. I just wanted to kind of talk about comic books a little bit. The Marvel comic books are actually good, really good. If you guys like the Avengers universe, the movie universe, the MCU, uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't like Marvel comic books. So I'm challenging everybody this week to go back find a comic book shop, maybe buy a comic book, uh, just one comic book, read it and see if you like it. Uh, you may got, you guys may really like it. But anyway guys, I just wanted to say that. I wanted to show you guys a comic book from Marvel that I like, X-Men Age of Apocalypse. It is a great thing. I have the entire set. This is actually just the prelude. Uh, this is leading up to the main storyline of Age of Apocalypse. Uh, just to show you guys a quick little something here. Uh, that is Cable and Domino. Uh, you guys may know them from their most recent Deadpool 2 movie. Um, just lots of stuff. Some of the art in here, guys, is terrific. Uh, that's really awesome. Uh, there's a lot of alternate covers, a lot of things like that. Uh, this is Legion on the back right here, guys. That's Legion in the comics. So, just challenging you guys to go to a comic book shop, maybe pick up a comic book. It doesn't have to be Marvel, but I think we should all be trying to help out Marvel. Uh, pick up a comic book, read, flip through it, see if you like it. Comic books are usually 2 to $3, guys, maybe. Uh, not very much at all, just individual comic books. Now, these collector's volumes, they're a little bit more because they're thicker. So, comic books is something I'm passionate about. I would be torn up if Marvel got shut down, Marvel Comics themselves got shut down, it would suck. Uh, I, I, I've been with them since I was probably eight years old, so, you know, long time. I won't tell you how long that's been, but it's been a long time. Uh, so, guys, go to a comic book shop, pick up a comic, maybe buy a comic, support your local comic book shop by buying a Marvel comic, and let's keep this form of entertainment in existence right guys all right guys on to the support portion of this video uh i'm going to shout out two channels like i said in the beginning the link to two videos of theirs will be in the description below don't forget guys comment hashtag homespun road to 700 um and uh that will make you eligible for the 700 subscriber giveaway when it comes if i pick that video or if that video gets picked by the wheel uh i'm going to do a random comment picker in that video and if you're in there, you will be eligible. If not, you're not eligible. So the first channel that I'm going to shout out this week, guys, is my pick of the week. Uh, it is a channel that I've been really enjoying. So she just did hit 200 subscribers, guys. She is in the middle of doing a giveaway for her 200 subscriber milestone. I'm not going to link to that video, though, guys. So if you want to see that video, you're going to have to go search her page and find that other video. Um, I want to congratulate her on 200. That's awesome. That's excellent. She definitely deserves it. I have been watching her for a couple of months now. I really enjoy all of her videos. Her content is great. She's a great Funko collector. She does a lot of mystery boxes. If you guys are interested in mystery boxes, go check her out, guys. Black Lab Pops. Link is in the description below. Like I said, she's doing a giveaway. That's not going to be the video that I link below. If you guys want to see that, you're going to have to go find her other video. But while you're on her page, guys, go check out some of her other stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up on her videos. Hit the bell for notifications, guys. She definitely deserves it. She's got some great stuff on that channel, and I think you guys are really going to like it. All right, so the next channel, guys, that I'm going to link to this week uh, is actually suggested to me, sponsored by Matthew's Nerdy Nation. He actually messaged me a couple of days ago and said this would be a very great uh, channel for me to, to shout out this week. So, Matthew, you suggest it, I do it. That's how I do things here on Support Saturdays. 
That channel, guys, is RLM's Comics and Collectibles. You guys may know him as Russ. Uh, he has a lot of really great stuff. He is a very comic-centric guy, which is why I enjoy him. Uh, I love what, looking at old comic books, especially stuff like this, like I just showed you guys. Uh, really enjoy looking at the old comic stuff. I like talking about the old comic stuff, uh, but I also really like talking about the new comic stuff, the indie comic stuff like Saga and so on and so forth. Those are things that I love. Those are things that I really enjoy reading. I really enjoy talking about them and watching videos about them. So Russ has a lot of really great content guys again i'm gonna link one of his videos in the description below guys i'm asking all of you to go check it out don't forget again hashtag homespun road to 700 guys uh in the comments of that video to be eligible if that video is chosen when i get to 700 i think you guys are really gonna like russ's stuff rlm's comics and collectibles really good channel i've been a subscriber of his for a, quite a while i think probably four or five months at least, maybe even longer than that, I don't know. Uh, but I've been watching a lot of his stuff uh, over the last several months. I really enjoy his stuff, and I think you guys will enjoy him too. Hopefully everybody likes comic books and collectibles and things like that. Funko Pops, that's what we do. That's what I do. Uh, that's what the community does. Uh, go check it out, guys. Go check Black Lab Pops and RLM's Comics and Collectibles out. Both channels are great. Both channels deserve support. I'm going to put a link, as I said, in the description below to two videos from those channels hashtag homespun road to 700 in the comments if you want to be eligible for my 700 subscriber giveaway all right guys so that is it that's all i really have for you guys this week i do want to show you guys the next item i think you guys might like this the next item that's in the 700 subscriber giveaway like i do every single week I have again I've previously shown you the Walgreens exclusive spirit spider that glows in the dark and the Black Panther Pint Size Heroes 3 pack with a mystery character in the middle. Uh, this week guys again sticking with the Marvel theme. Marvel theme. I am going to show you guys this week the crochet item. It is Mjolnir. So, Shuri did crochet Mjolnir. There are two weighted bags in here to make this basically a, a paperweight or to make it stand like this. Uh, so, that is the crochet item, Mjolnir, guys. Isn't that cool? If you guys haven't seen Thor, you should definitely check out Thor. If you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, shame on you. That is one of the best Marvel movies there is. I love Thor. I read Thor comic books. I watch the Thor movies. He is one of my absolute favorite guys. Love Thor. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, amazing in that character. So yeah, there you go, guys. The third item in the 700 subscriber giveaway is Mjolnir. It is crocheted by my wife, Cherie. It is weighed down by two bags full of rice. I think it's rice. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Uh, she used two, I think, balloons, actually, uh, to weigh it down. So yeah, it is a little Mjolnir paperweight. Well, it's not actually little at all, guys, just so you know. This is, uh, there you go, that should give you an idea. Uh, this is probably the largest crochet item that we've made so far. It is going to be going to somebody as well as the Spirit Spider and the Black Panther Pint Size Hero 3-pack. Uh, so what do you think about that, guys? Tell me in the comments, do you like that? That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's it, guys. So there's your third item for my 700 subscriber giveaway. Hopefully you guys like that. Uh, again, let me know, guys, in the comments what you think about that. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the whole Marvel situation? Have you guys ever read Marvel Comics? Do you like Marvel Comics? What do you think about Marvel Comics? I know everybody likes the MCU, uh, but what about the comic books specifically? Have you ever read any Marvel Comics? If you have, what are your favorite books? That's what I want to know, guys. All right, so that's really it for this week, guys. I hope you guys have a great week coming up with work and whatever you're doing. Uh, work and school, I guess. And uh, that's it, guys. I I am Tylock, this is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a great day.